What is going on, OES families? My extended Phys Ed family on YouTube, wherever you're watching this, I am happy to have you here. If you haven't already, click that subscribe button down below, okay, so you don't miss any of the content. We still got several more weeks of this at least, okay? So um, this Monday, March 30th, that's right, can you believe it? It is already March 30th. We are almost in April, okay? And uh, this is our last week before a nice uh, spring break, um, a welcome spring break here in Hamilton County. If uh, you are in Hamilton County, uh, if not, and you're watching this somewhere else, maybe you've already had your spring break. I hope you enjoyed it, okay? But I'm happy to have you here now. And for Monday, today, we're gonna do a little reading, okay? A little active reading. Uh, I'm not rapping this time, hate to disappoint you, okay? But we're gonna do a little poetry. That's right, I love some poetry, okay? Really makes you think. Uh, boys and girls, my advice to you, read every day, okay? Read every day. Uh, if you're still learning how to read, you're one of my pre-K friends or my kindergarten friends, uh, have a parent read to you, okay? Parents, read to your children. Reading makes the world go round, all right? And it's good for your soul, much like dancing, all right? Now, uh, we're going to have a little fun here. I'm going to take a, a, a pause and um, show you the exercises for our active reading. Now, as I'm reading, I also walk you through when to do the exercise, okay? And uh, how many to do. So stick with it. The book's about to pop up. But real quick, I'm gonna show you how to do these exercises. So stay tuned. When I come back, I'll be standing back here in a little bit of space. So uh, here we go. Have a great Monday. Welcome back. Okay, down here in the basement of my home. Uh, once again, we're doing PE at home, so shoes, they are optional, all right? Hope you like my Kristoff my socks here, all right? Frozen 2, shout out. Disney Plus, shout out, okay? So, watch the movie. It's awesome, all right, if you haven't already seen it. Now, like I said, I'm gonna walk you through some of the exercises that we're gonna be doing in the poem reading, okay? Now, the first thing that we'll wind up doing is this, okay? It is a star jump. So you're gonna get down real low, and when you jump, you're gonna burst out like a big star, and you're gonna say, I'm a star. I wanna hear you say that. Tell yourself you're a star, because you are. You're here, you're watching this, you're moving, you're exercising, so you are a star. So once again, when I explode up, I'm gonna say, I'm a star. I'm a star. And we're coming back down each time. You should start feeling it in your legs, okay? So that's the first exercise that we're gonna do. Now, the next one, we're gonna run in place during the story. You know how to run in place, and I'm gonna time you on that, and I'll let you know when to stop running. The one after that, okay? Let me look at my notes. Hi there, all right? Now, my notes say the next one will be a plank, okay? So I'm gonna turn sideways here. I'm gonna get down on the floor, almost like a push-up, but I'm gonna drop my arms, and I'm gonna hold myself nice and flat, engaging my core muscles, all right? And we're gonna hold it there. We're a nice stone wall, as you'll hear from the poem. Now, from there, okay? We're gonna do some leapfrogs. Now, the leapfrog, very similar to the star. You're down here, and you're riveting and hopping like a frog, okay? So, I'm here. And I'm just gonna rivet, rivet, rivet. And I'm really exploding. How high can you jump, okay? So jump in like a frog. Next on the list, oh, we're gonna do a nice little yoga stretch. I love this one, okay? I'm gonna turn sideways again so you can see it. So I'm gonna be down like a push-up. I'm gonna push up, oh yeah. Really stretch that head up. And we're gonna hold it, all right? And you'll see how this works with our poem story momentarily. From there, you'll stand back up. Okay. Uh, I'm looking at jumping jacks, which I think you know how to do. All right. Coming back into you here. Jumping jacks. Uh, remember, make that big X, that big I. All right. And then uh, we'll also have some sit-ups. You're going to sit all the way up. Okay. Now, without further ado. I'm going to pass it off 
to a lovely reading. The pictures will show up on the screen, I hope. And uh, I hope you enjoy this Monday, okay? Stay tuned. We got some fun things coming up, all right? We're going to do some more active readings, all right? I might even wrap another book. Who knows, okay? Some more activities for Fitness Friday, so tune in for those, okay? And uh, we'll have fun, all right? Let's keep learning. Let's keep moving. And let's have a great Monday. Thanks for tuning in. See ya. Daniel Finds a Poem by Micah Archer. Daniel knows all the rocks, trees, and animals in the park. On Monday morning, Daniel sees something new on the park gate. A sign reads, Poetry in the Park, Sunday at 6 o'clock. What is poetry, Daniel says. He looks up in surprise when he hears spiders say, To me, poetry is when morning dew glistens. All right, boys and girls, when I think of glistening, I think of stars. So this is where we're going to do our star jumps. So go ahead, stand up, get ready, squat down, and we're going to count out 10 of them. Don't forget to say, I'm a star. All right, are you ready? Here we go. One, I'm a star. Two, I can't hear you. Three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Great job, great job. Let's see if Daniel can figure out what poetry is. On Tuesday, Daniel climbs the old oak tree to see Squirrel. Squirrel, do you know what poetry is? Poetry is when crisp leaves crunch, Squirrel tells him. So let's stand up again and let's run in place crunching those leaves. Crunch those leaves. 30 seconds. Go. That's it. Keep crunching them. Run. Run. 25 seconds. Here we go. Keep crunching. Run in place. Run in place. Run in place. 20 seconds. Come on. You can do it. How fast can you run and crunch all those leaves? Oh, here we go. Don't give up. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. All right. Great job. All right. Let's keep looking for what poetry is. On Wednesday, Daniel calls into Chipmunk's hole. Chipmunk, can you tell me what poetry is? What do you think Chipmunk says? Poetry, hmm, poetry is a home with many windows in an old stone wall. All right, let's get down in that plank position. That's right, that plank position, and we're going to hold it for 30 more seconds. Here we go, wait for the car horn. Oh, keep working hard. 10 seconds gone, 20 more to go. Hold it. Work those tummy muscles. Good job. Here we go. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. All right. Great job. On Thursday, Daniel makes a boat with a leaf for a sail and watches the wind carry it across the pond. He calls quietly to Frog. Excuse me, Frog, what is poetry? Poetry, says Frog, is a cool pool to dive into. All right, here we go. We're still working. Let me see you do 10 leapfrogs. All right, 10 leapfrogs. Are you ready? If you want to, just for fun, throw in that ribbit. All right, ready? Jump, one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, 
eight, nine, ten. All right. On Friday, Daniel parts the cattails and finds Turtle. Hello, Turtle. I have a question. Do you know what poetry is? I think poetry is sun, warm, sand, Turtle says. All right, let's lay back on our belly and walk our hands underneath us, stretching up in that yoga stretch like a turtle stretching its neck out of its shell. Oh, that's it. Hold it there. We're going to hold this one for 15 seconds. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. That is great. All right. On Saturday afternoon, Daniel finds Cricket in the shade of the slide. When the shadows are long, Cricket fills the air with music. Is this poetry to Cricket? Singing at twilight when the day is done? Indeed it is, Daniel. That night moonlight fills Daniel's room. He hears a hoo, hoo. Leaning from his window, he calls the owl, owl. What is the poetry? What is poetry? Oh, poetry. Poetry is bright stars in the branches, moonlight on the grass, and silent wings to take me wherever I go. So let's stand up. Let's hit 15 jumping jacks. Are you ready? Here we go. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Good night, dear Daniel, she whispers and flies off into the night. On Sunday, the sun wakes up Daniel. He is happy when he remembers it's Sunday. Today is poetry in the park, says Daniel, and I have a poem. All right, Daniel just woke up. He sat up in bed, so let's lay on our backs and give me ten sit-ups. Are you ready? Up. That's one. Back down. Up. That's two. Back down. Up. That's three. Back down. Up, that's four, back down, up, that's five, we're halfway there, down, up, six, down, up, that's seven, down, up, that's eight, down, up, that's nine, down, up, that's ten, there you go, way to go boys and girls, let's see what Daniel's poem is. As Daniel recites his poem at the Poetry in the Park, it sounds a little bit like this. Morning dew glistens. Chris leaves crunch. There's a home with many windows in the old stone wall. Cool pools to dive in. Sun warm sand to lie in. Singing at twilight when the day is done. Bright stars in the branches. Moonlight on the grass and silent wings to take me wherever I go. On the way home, Daniel stops to watch the sunset sky reflecting in the pond. That looks like poetry to me. To me too, says Dragonfly. The end.